Hello there, everybody. My name is Thavius Beck, and in the following tutorial course, I'd like to speak with you about some of my own personal production techniques utilizing Electron's Octatrack. This is a piece of gear that I absolutely love. This is my favorite piece of hardware in my entire arsenal uh, because it's so flexible and really allows you to do pretty much anything you want to with it. But in its most basic, simplistic form, it's a sampler and a sequencer. We have eight tracks of audio and eight tracks of MIDI, so we can sequence external MIDI gear as well as anything that we sample directly into this device. And there's different track machines, which I'll explain a little bit later, but basically it allows you to utilize these tracks in a lot of different ways. We can either record and play samples from the internal RAM, which gives us a ton of flexibility when it comes to time stretching. Uh, we can also load samples directly from the compact flash card and stream them from there. So then that way we're not limited by the size of the RAM and each sample we stream from the car can be up to two gigabytes in size. So as a playback device, if you need to play stems and whatnot as backing tracks, uh, you can utilize this instead of a computer and it's very powerful in that function as well. Now we also have the very powerful electron sequencer and one of the features that makes it so well known is the fact that we can parameter lock specific parameter states to individual steps. So each note that we enter into the step sequencer could have completely different parameter settings. Very, very powerful stuff. We also have what are known as scenes, and these scenes are basically connected to this crossfader here. Scenes are essentially a collection of parameter states, certain parameter states, and we can smoothly go from one scene to the other by utilizing this crossfader. So that could be anything from blending between the volume of track one and track five, to going from one filter state to another, or having this assigned to the pitch or the time stretch rate of a sample and manipulating that in real time. So many different ways we can utilize this. In addition to that, we have two stereo inputs and we can use Octatrack almost as a mixer. For example, we have the ability to sequence external MIDI gear. So we can run the output to that MIDI gear directly in through the Octatrack so we don't need a separate mixer or audio interface. And then it also allows us to sample directly from that external MIDI gear that's synced with the Octatrack. That brings up a host of new possibilities. So there's there's a ton of different ways we can use this. Uh, there's specific machines that are used as looper devices. They're called pickup machines. I could go on and on and on. So instead of going through everything that can happen with the Octatrack, I would require so many more videos to do that. I'm gonna focus just on some of my own personal production techniques and live performance techniques, and uh, hopefully you'll get something useful out of that. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what this thing can do. <laughs> 